Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 10, you now have the ability to select multiple shapes, which is great if you want to change the properties of multiple shapes without having to select every individual one and then apply the properties separately. So in this example, you can see that I have a character on screen and the eyebrows and beard are actually all on one layer. So you can see I can just click with my select shape tool and select all of these. So let's say I want to select all of these pieces on this character. Well, all you have to do is hold and shift and then click on the objects you want to select in that layer. As you can see, as I hold and shift and click, I can select all of those pieces for that character. Now, if at any time I want to deselect an object, all I have to do is hold an alt and click to deselect that object. Now, of course, the benefit here is that we can adjust multiple properties. So we could come up here, for instance, to the style palette, click on fill, and from here, Let's just start putting some colors down. You can see that I can adjust the way this looks. So let's go with gray, or at least a gray looking color like that, and then click OK. Now you could also then, let's say, apply strokes if you wanted to. So I could click on stroke on the style palette, and I could you know, adjust the number here if I wanted to. I could change the color of the strokes as well. I guess my strokes are pretty big there. Let's bring those down a little bit, just like that. So you can see, you can easily go in here and adjust multiple properties. And it's really pretty much limited to what you want to do. For instance, you could click on brush, you could choose a different brush type. Click OK, and now you have your brush applied to all of those shapes. It also works for the eyedropper tool. So once you have all of your shapes selected, you can come over here to your eyedropper tool, click, and if you want to, for instance, just apply the fill color, you can hold in shift, and you can see here I have a gradient coming in here, and I'm just picking out which color I want just by holding in shift for the fill. Of course, Shift-Alt will pick your stroke color if you have a stroke on that Shift-Alt. And you can see now we can adjust all the strokes on it as well. So really applying these different styles is just like it would be when applying to individual objects, except now you can do it with multiple objects by simply holding in Shift and clicking on the objects that you want. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something, and we will see you next time.